the biggest challenges you faced in making the film? Well, other than you know, other than the, just the day to day, uh, <laughs> other than just the day to day problems of making any kind of feature film, uh, be it money or equipment or uh, the logis just the logistics, um, I think one of the, the major problems was uh, the line between a filmmaker and a human being trying to help people. Um, where do you draw that line between setting up a camera when somebody is drowning? Uh, versus jumping in the water and setting the camera on the ground. Um, we became very involved in the kids. Uh, there was an early, early in the film, very, very early in the process of making this film, I was shooting this scene and there was two social workers talking about two of the characters in our film, Sam and, and Bruce, and they were getting kicked out of the one place they could stay after they'd left. And um, they were saying, well, where are they going to go? Where are they going to be? What are they going to do? What are they gonna, where, where are they going to live? They have nowhere to go. And I'm shooting the scene going, this is great. I'm going to get footage of them sleeping in a garbage can and eating out of dumpsters. It's going to be great. And then I set the camera down and I thought, I said, you know, they could stay with me for a couple of days, <laughs> you know, and we'll the take them into schools. Or... And so they, we, we, you know, we got them into a school. We got them into places. Um, and we've, we've been active in helping um, people leave that community, um, people in the film leave um, Hillary, for example, one of the characters in our film who Jenny mentions leaves six times. I, th I think that was that was probably the hardest thing, you know, at the beginning, and along the way, different times, you know, when Hillary jumps in our car, um, or she's faced with getting married, you know, married at 14, and we knew it was going to happen any moment, and, you know, I went to help them rescue her, and they said, oh, by the way, can you take her and hide her? And I sat for a minute and said, yes, I will. I mean, because it was, this was her fifth attempt. and um, She literally showed up at my house <laughs> at three in the morning with a 14-year-old girl crossing I mean, state lines, you know? But, but also, I want to say that, that, you know, this is a really critical question, and, and it's, it's, a, it's difficult for all documentary makers, but, but I think for us, we made some of those decisions based on the fact that um, the social work system and the networks were not set up for the kids, and so the social workers actually started looking to us, um, and you know we, we got th there was a vacuum of help, um, but a dire vacuum. So okay, as, as this this question will kind of uh, grow out of the last one. During the four years you spent on the film, it was four years, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever doubt that you were doing the right thing by making the film? Uh, continually, yeah. I mean, it was a process, and it's exhausting and frustrating and tiring, and you keep going, and you, you, you don't have any money, and you don't know when you're going to keep going, and when's it going to film, where it's going to go. We're filming, and we don't know. Um, and then there were times when, you know, like, for example, one of the kids, Sam, one of the main characters, um, he, he once called us, and he said, you know, I'm starting to have contact with my father again, and he asked me not to be in the documentary. And he said, if you are in this documentary, you'll never see me again. And of course, that might have been posturing, and for the most part it was, because his father had pretty much written him off at that time anyways. And so Sam had lost contact with us for a number of months, and we wondered, are we doing this in the right way? Does anyone care, and is it something that we're hurting more than helping? No, I think that, you know, I mean, I think in our heart of hearts, we never doubted that we were telling an important story, ever. And that kept us going when we had no money, when we had no support, whatever, because... And because we were helping the kids on a daily basis, you know, we never lost that. But, like Tyler said, it w there were some times where we had to say, you know, are we, is, is this going to hurt the kids? Or, um, you know, there's, there's political and, you know, physical ramifications. So, we had our questions. I think we have time for one more. Hmm? Uh, do you see any possible solutions to the community-wide problem that you uh, looked at in this film, above and beyond helping individuals escape? Do we see any solutions? Um, possible solutions. Possible solutions. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very, very difficult um, process. It's very tough. I mean, there's estimates of 100,000 polygamists across the United States. Um, the, main, the main problem being in Colorado City, the FLDS and Warren Jeffs Group. Um, how, what do you do? You know, what do you put all these men in jail? What do you do with the women? What do you do with the children? Do you pull all the children out like they did in Texas? We saw how, how effective that was. Um, I think the main thing they need to do, um, us personally, is education. 
these kids do not have educations, you know, and so they'd say, oh, well, they're in homeschool, and we're homeschooling them. But there needs to be some sort of standardized testing, um, because these kids' education is very stunted at best. It's, it's math and history, and the majority of that is, is church history. They basically need to do two things, provide the kind of accountability that the government can monitor, like education and tax fraud and different things like that, and then they, they need to create um, accessible outreach sources so that people can leave and know that there's a safety net for them. And that will slowly create you know, a trickle of people that can escape or leave um, you know, in, a, in a healthy, you know, sustainable manner. Because the, the big attack is, is not going to, I mean, one of our kids said, you know, the more you attack, the stronger they're going to they're gonna fail. So there are, there are some things that can be done. Well, thank you very much for speaking with us. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Of thanks. course.